Also, I was jimmy jamming to get to the party, but I had a wardrobe malfunction and had to stop to decling the static that was riding the jet of my butt, so my timing was off and I was late late. And I couldn't find my phone. It wasn't in my purse or on my person, and I still can't find it. Anyway, when I got outside the house, Jenna and Colin were getting up close and personal, and I didn't know what to do. I was speechless, which really says something. So I slid and hid, and then before I could get into a good squat of thought, I heard, at that point, I knew it was safe to make an appearance. But as I popped out of the bushes, Colin, then Maddie, then Jenna rolled out of the house. As the boys ran down the steps, Jenna yelled, wait! And it was so sad because they both turned not knowing who she was talking to. It didn't mean anything, it was a mistake. She was talking to Maddie. And Maddie, poor Maddie, he looked like he had been stun gunned to the heart so he was like paralyzed, not saying anything. So I did what any decent friend would do. I gave him a nudge. Hit it! <sighs> What's the point? Fine. If you won't, I will. Oh. You broke my nose. And you broke my BFGF BFF. Do you even realize how many years of praying it took to make that dream a reality? You ruined my life.